In today's video, I'll be talking about one of the most highly requested video on this channel. That is jobs in Austria. How to get a job in Austria. I'll be talking about those jobs you can be able to get with or without speaking German language. At the end of this video, I'm going to be dropping websites where you can be able to get a job in Austria. I'll be very real as usual with you guys. Having lived here for over years, I will share my experience. My name is Oge. On this channel, I create content on immigration, study visa, lifestyle, and many more. I share my experience so that people will learn from it having lived here for over years. If you're new here, you're welcome. And for my old subscribers, thank you so much for your continued support. I love you guys all. And for you that just join us, thank you for joining. So let's go into that. The top on my list are salespeople. Salespeople comprises of cashiers, comprises of workers you see in the shop that do one or two things when you come in to buy something, and so many more. And I will give you guys an instance, for example, regards to the salary, how it works here in Austria. Let me say, for example, I'm a salesperson, and I have a colleague that is a salesperson. Two of us might be earning two different salaries. How it works here in Austria is that sometimes the certificate is not all that matters. It is your experience. They will ask you what you can be able to bring to the table at your interview. If you're able to bargain and convince them, you may earn more, more than even the people that are even working already before you came. Some of the cashiers, some of the salespeople earn between 2,000 and 2,500. I'm talking about netto, what you take home, not brutal. Okay? So that is how it works. Some earns less. So it depends on your experience and your ability to bargain during your interview that will help you get a good pay at the end of the month take home. Okay? That is for salespeople. Take note. The next one are healthcare workers. Guys, these people, employers are looking them daily here in Austria. They are included in the shortage occupation list. Employers are looking for them. Who are these healthcare workers? These are nurses. These are doctors. These are pharmacists. These are, they call it uh, in UK or US uh, care jobs. They take care of old people. Here we call it Heimhilfer. We call it Altenpflege. We, there are so many names. These are the people. They are looking for them. But these health care workers, there's no way they will take you if you don't speak German because you deal with indigenous. You're supposed to be writing German. You're supposed to speak it. It is very, very necessary. They don't skip it. They are very, very strict when it comes to anything that is related to health in Austria. You must speak and write German, not just small, very well. These are for healthcare workers. Then the third in my list is tourism work. Okay. Tourism work is people that help people that, for example, people that came for vacation in Austria. They help them to take them different places. This kind of job, you don't need to speak German because most of them don't speak German. Okay? All you need to do is just, what you need to do is just to know the routes. You take them to different locations where they want. An organization will pay you for such job. 
okay this is for tourism job before i go on i want to let you guys know that minimum wage in austria is a thousand five hundred some and more and more than that some and below so let's move forward the next one is hotel workers in hotels here you may not necessarily speak german some are very compulsory it depends on the city where you are okay what are those hotel workers it means shelf it means cooks it means managers it means um dishwashers it means cleaners and so many more if you're working full-time like i said some companies pay over time some do not but the minimum wage is 1500 okay the next on my list is cleaners before i'll continue i want to say that in austria every job is being respected it's not like back home when they say if you're a cleaner people will not regard you no here the law says every job you are doing that is legal must be respected and as the law says the people are obeying it nobody cares what you do as long as at the end of the month it is legal you take your uh take home pay so whether you're a cleaner, whether you're a hotel worker, whatever you're doing, it is being respected in Austria. Okay? So having said that, cleaners, some clean, I know some cleaners that earn more than those that are working in office. Some cleaners here earn up to 1,800 or 2,000, even monthly, more than people that are working in office. Okay? So you can find a cleaner in for shop, you can find a cleaner for office. There are so many places cleaners can clean. And the method of their cleaning is not just like every other cleaning that they do back home. No. Cleaners here go to school for it. So if you guys don't know, they have their own uniform. They have everything they used to work. So they are professionals as well. And they are being respected. Like I said, some here and more than people that are even working in office some and even from a thousand eight hundred to two thousand depending on where you're working so having said that we move to the next one drivers drivers are one of those occupations that are in the shortage occupation list in austria just like i have explained in the job of salespeople, some drivers and more than others here it depends on your experience it depends on what you are able to bargain for yourself for you to become a driver in austria you have to do the exam here some do it as a beruf that is they go to school for it some just do the license it depends on your what you want to do okay they end very very good here some drivers end up to three thousand some end up to two thousand five hundred it depends so i don't want to quote so that anybody will not quote me anywhere what i'm telling you is practicable it's what i have seen here and people are receiving such huge amount some also endless it depends on your experience it depends on where you are working okay having said that we we'll move to the next one the next one are production workers Production workers are those people that work in production companies. They produce things. They also earn very well. Depends on where you are working. Minimum wage in Austria is 1500 full time. Some earn more. Some company pay more. Some pay less. The next one are those that are working in banking industry. Okay. They look for them here. But for you to be able to work in a bank here, you have to speak German. You have to write it. So the next one are insurance workers. The same goes to insurance workers. You have to speak German. You have to write it or you have to learn how to write it also. They pay them also very well. The next one are IT professionals. Guys, they look for these jobs here. It is one of those jobs that is in 
shortage occupation list. If you are an IT professional, regardless of any, um, I don't know how to put it. If you are an, an IT professional, they are looking for you guys here. What I usually advise people is try and get basic knowledge of German. If you want to stay permanently in Austria, it will be very helpful to you. I'm talking from experience. The next one are dentists, medical doctors. They pay them very well here as well. Okay. There are many other jobs that are looking for here. I just decided to pick this few that I just mentioned. I'm going to drop in. I will be dropping a link at the description of this video. Check it out. Websites where you can get jobs here. And as if you come here with your old certificate, go to the um, Bundesministerium. That is what they call it here. That is the Ministry of Education. Authenticate that is genuine. If you authenticate it, that is genuine. If you can be able to use it to find work here, it is good for you. They approve it. They accept it. Having said all the things, I believe that I'll be stopping here. If you enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. Thumbs up, sorry. <laughs> Share this video with family and friends. Subscribe if you're interested in such topic. Follow me on my Instagram at styleoge. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.